the day the Chaturmasyam concluded, the Purnima, at four o'clock, a Pushpanjali was to be performed to the Jagat Guru. Acharya first released an artist's rendition of the Sri Chandramaulishwara Puja. Then he accepted the prasadams from the Sri Kamakshi Ambal Devasthanam. Many hands had contributed to make sure the stems of the flowers were removed before they were offered to Acharya. Different kinds of roses, chrysanthemums, leaves like the vilva, the maru and other fragrant leaves were all offered to the Jagat Guru. The sthanikas from the Sri Kamakshi Amba Devasthanam, other vaidikas participated in making these offerings at the feet of Jagat Guru Pooja Sri Shankara Vijayendra Saraswati Shankaracharya Swami. The volume of flowers kept for the offering was enormous. <laughs> Charyal sat in his usual benign manner, smiling beatifically at the offerings. The piles mounted higher and higher and volunteers were required to push them away so that more offerings could be made. One has to recall the many number of times that Acharyal has done Pada Puja to his Guru, Puja Sri Jayendra Saraswati Shankaracharya Swami. The delicacy and the love with which he used to offer the flowers is unparalleled. The offerings went on for over an hour and a half. Despite the furious and hectic activity in front of him, the devotees who thronged the hall could see only one thing, Acharya's beautiful countenance, his calming smile, his mouth chanting the Vedas along with the Vaidikas. Every mantram they chanted, he knew and he chanted along with them. Acharyal accepted a small vigraham from Sri Challa Vishwanathan Shastri, the Sri Karyam of the Sri Kanji Kamakoti Peetham. He was to bestow it upon Sri Chaganti Koteshwar Rao. But for the duration of the Pushpanjati, he decided to hold it in his sacred hands and bless it before giving it to Sri Koteshwar Rao. As the mounds piled higher, they were pushed forward by the volunteers. At no point should any of these sharp stems ever hurt the Jagat Guru's feet. The sannyasi, who was also at the Chaturmasya camp, 
offered these flowers to the Jagat Guru. Upon Acharya's instructions, the Vishnu Sahasranam was chanted. During the Pushpanjali, to everyone's delight, they saw Acharya chanting. Acharyal chanting the Vishnu Sahasranamam will be presented as a separate video for its unique beauty so that those who are devotees can relish Acharyal's bhavam during the chanting. Acharyal placed the Vigraham on the armrest of his asanam and placing one lotus at a time, offering it to the Devata, he put it along with the other flowers. Acharyal took a flower and gave it to somebody as prasadam.
The crowd was huge, extremely emotional and they went quite wild towards the end. Everybody wanted to participate. Everybody wanted to offer flowers. Everyone wanted to come for another glance of Acharyal and they all kept pressing forward. Acharyal's radiance filled the room. Prasadams and awards were given to those who had come and a final arati was conducted before the Pushpanjali came to an end. Jai Jai Shankara, Hara Hara Shankara. subscribe to our channels, hit the like button and get notified when new videos are uploaded.